think that now, since several years, uh, there are two major treatments that are available for CLL uh, outside of uh, immunochemochemistry, uh, which are ibrutinib and venetoclax, so BTK inhibitors and uh, uh, for apoptotic drug. So uh, what's interesting in uh, this uh, uh, ASH is that we see now that there are different drugs doing the same thing, so that it, it, we start to have a choice. For example, uh, the BTK inhibitor, there is a drug called acalabrutinib uh, that might have less toxic uh, effects than ibrutinib. And there are also some new BTK inhibitor that uh, are what we call non-covalent, meaning that uh, they should not be, uh, they, they should be able to uh, overcome the resistance uh, of uh, the other BTK inhibitors. So this is an interesting point. Also, the other thing is that now we are trying uh, to combine drugs to have uh, the best effect and uh, to reach some undetectable uh, MRD, uh, meaning the deepest response that we can have. And uh, we are working around these combinations uh, in order to have the best treatment for the patients and also in order to be able to stop treatment and not and have fixed duration treatments. So uh, here there has been several uh, <clears throat> Uh, treatment uh, regimens that have been presented and uh, what's interesting is that there were several breakthroughs last year and now we can see the follow-up of this combination and we are trying to see uh, the best options and also uh, uh, there are very efficient drugs now in CLL and even if we've this drug we are not reaching cure uh, we have very long-term responses and we have also drugs that are able to uh, be used one after the other so we are working on combination and sequences of the drugs